So the first thing I'm going to do is add a custom state to this delete element. I'm going to click on the inspector icon here to add a new state. I'm going to give this state the name of click count and this will be a number value. Now you can do this custom state a few different ways. This can also be a yes, no, or it can be a text just depending on how you want to manage the value. Um, but I'm going to use a number just to make it really clear what we're keeping track of um, when we click the button. Uh, so we're going to set this value to zero by default so that when the page first loads, we have not clicked the button yet, so our click count is zero. Now when we click the button once, we're going to set the state to one. And then when we click it a second time, we're going to reset the count to go back to zero because we're only allowing for a double click functionality. Um, so you'll see what I mean here when we uh, create this workflow. So when the button delete is clicked, only when this button's click count is zero, meaning we haven't clicked it yet and this is the first click, then we're going to update that count. We're going to set state of the buttons click count to one. Okay, so the first click, uh, the state will at the moment be zero, but we're updating it to one. And then I'm gonna copy this event and paste. So I have a duplicate here and change the condition on this copied event. When the click count is one, okay, then we're going to change the state back to zero. So you can see here how a yes, no custom state value also works because this is binary. We're just working with two values, but I'm again, I'm just, I'm using the numbers so that you can really see what we're keeping track of with these custom states. So when it's zero, it means that we have not clicked the button yet. We click it once, so our count is one. When we click it again, we're going to reset it back to zero, um, but now look what you've created. You have two separate workflows um, that can run off of the same button. So only one of these will ever be true. So depending on whether you've clicked it once uh, before um, is what will dictate uh, which workflow runs. So let's go back to our element here. And we're gonna add a condition to the element um, so that the user knows that they have clicked at least once on this button. So um, when this button's click count is one, meaning they've clicked it once, we're gonna change the text to say, are you sure? And I'm also gonna go ahead and change the color of the button just so that it's super clear. We'll make it a little bit darker there. There we go, uh, let's make it even darker. So it's really clear that something has changed and they need, you know, we need their attention to proceed and continue with the action. So they click it once, the button will look like that. Okay, so that's what happens here when they click this button. Nothing else is going to occur. We're not gonna delete anything yet. Only when the count is one. So this is now the second click. Will we uh, run a delete action? That way we have, because this is the second click, we are more sure that they want to go through with this action. So we'll allow the delete action to happen here. And I'm gonna go ahead and add an alert element so that the user gets a little success message so that they know um, it went through. So I'll just type in success like that. And I'll go back to my workflow. And of course you would need to fill in some value, some record here to delete. Um, and then I'm going to show my alert success message. So again, on the first click, nothing happens data-wise. We just update that click count. But on the second click, that's when we delete the item and then we show the, a success message. So I'm gonna preview the page so that you can see this all working together. Okay, I'm gonna click once. It says, are you sure? The color has changed. I'm gonna click twice and the button's back and I see my success message there. So now you have your double click functionality. And if you inspect your element too, so I'm, I should be back at um, custom state, my click count should be zero. I'm gonna select the element there so you can see there's my value it's set to zero. If I click again and then inspect my element, I can see that the click count is now one and that the condition for this button 
is in place right now, the text is different, the background color is the same. So you can really apply this concept of um, a custom state creating dual functionality for a button like this or any element that's clickable uh, and so that you get your double click functionality. And double clicks can uh, be useful for a lot of different things, not just con uh, confirming uh, actions to run. Um, if you have, for example, a list of search results, the first click can highlight the result where the second click can then take you to a, a fuller detail page for that uh, result. So lots of different ways to use this. Hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.